So guys, welcome to another video on techiebo.com. My name is Asif and I recently bought this Amazon Echo Dot from Amazon in a sale. And I was already using this Google Home Mini from last three years. I bought it in 2019. So I'll be doing the review and comparison of this these two smart speakers. So let's do that after this intro. <music> I did shot a video unboxing this Amazon Echo Dot which you can see and I got it in a bundle uh, I think for rupees 2400 this one was for rupees 2000 and then for another 400 rupees I got a smart plug which is usually around rupees 900 so I got both the devices for around 2400 rupees which is a great deal individually it costs around 3000 rupees on regular days on festive days I got this deal so uh, now talking about the build quality the build quality is nice the, uh, it feels nice to touch I quality uh, does not uh, feel look cheaper in any sense although uh, it's quite a steal to get this device for rupees 2000 anyways um, there are four buttons two buttons are to increase and decrease the volume one button is to mute it and another button is to execute a command like if you don't want to say Alexa then you can uh, press this button and say your command and it is also pretty straightforward to set it up you have to power it on install the amazon alexa app on your mobile phone available for both android and iphone and then follow the instructions to set it up it takes around three to four minutes to completely set it up now if you have set it up you have got amazon alexa uh, smart assistant you can ask it anything it will search for you on the internet and will tell you the answer you can ask simple questions like what's the weather outside or uh, in your city what's the weather like in some other city and uh, sunrise time set an alarm set a reminder add something to your gro grocery list shopping list ask alexa to play a certain song and the sound quality of the echo dot is nice in comparison to the home mini i have but i will be comparing them both in the different section probably in the last part of the video so make sure you watch it till the end my recommendation to use it fully would be to get some kind of uh, smart devices you can also convert your regular devices into smart devices thanks to those smart plugs like if you have got a geezer for larger appliances like acs geezers and uh, submersible motors then you can get the bigger smart plug that's cost about 900 rupees so you can set up smart plugs to turn off and on a particular device like i have set it up for my treadmill uh, the the gym treadmill that i have in my hall and i just have to say amazon turn on the treadmill and it turns on the treadmill and turn off the treadmill when i am done with it so it is a good thing that you can convert non smart things also the smart device you will be buying or you are using uh, has an app and you can install that app and that app also will be having integration for google assistant as well as amazon alexa and you will have to just give it authentication and link the device so that you can use alexa to control all those devices it, it is pretty straightforward you can read the article about home automation the link would be in the description of this video you can find more information about this now how you can make the most out of it if you have got more than two, two three devices it is totally worth using amazon alexa or or any smart speaker it is amazing that you have to give it a command and it executes on your behalf also these devices are pretty amazing for kids i mean uh, they can play with it they can ask it to ask quiz questions uh, tell some jokes or they can ask any question if they bother you a lot with their stupid questions ask them to ask alexa or google assistant and uh, they will learn a great deal of things using these smart assistants i've already written an article about how kids can benefit from these smart speakers you can read that on techiepo.com now i'm integrating my review of the amazon echo dot with the comparison of both the devices so the build quality is pretty similar uh, i shouldn't be commenting on the physical uh, appearances and build quality of these devices because both of them are from different generations like i bought the google home mini which is now google nest mini uh, it was for around rupees 2500 in 2019 and i don't know the price of it right now but uh, this one the amazon echo dot is third generation so i think the google home mini is second generation and this is the third generation so it doesn't make sense to compare them physically but the base of the song the base of the voices is much better on echo dot 
and it is also a little cheaper it is still 500 rupees less than what i paid for the google home mini and uh, the touch button is really helpful i mean uh, there is a toggle button to mute the google home mini but if you uh, toggle the button uh, you won't be able to unmute it unless you physically toggle it back to unmute while uh, amazon echo dot has got touch buttons so even if you press the mute button you will be able to unmute it from the app itself so it is nice and the other thing is led lights it has got led dots so you can tap here and here to increase and decrease the volume and the indication will be the leds while the amazon echo dot has got a ring around it uh, it's an led ring and when you increase and decrease the volume uh, the ring circles so if it's a full volume then the entire circle will light up the ring also doubles up as notification ring so it will be slightly blinking asking for your attention and you can ask it what notification do you have it actually tells you what kind of notification it has uh, because i'm really happy i i did not expect this much from amazon alexa i mean i was already using google assistant on my phone and that's the reason i got the google home mini in first place because i was not sure how amazon alexa would be uh, it google home mini was already so good but it has surpassed my expectation the amazon echo dot has surpassed my expectation it is installed in the hall area in my house and i use uh, the google home mini in my office and sometimes when i am in my office and i ask the google home to do something it sometimes does not listen while hall is bigger than two times bigger than my home office and if i am on the other end of the hall the amazon echo dot listens to me so in short it is much more responsive than google home mini and the amazon echo dot is much more likable in my household because it is in hall and it gets used a lot but i see kids use it a lot and they have a lot of fun with it they ask it questions and they ask it to ask them some puzzle games also and it is incredible uh, i mean for kids they can use it to learn new things and it's an incredible addition to every household if you want to wait for another season or some festival for the price to go down then it's fine but it is still a great deal for rupees 3000 and you will find the link of this product in the description of this video which will help the channel if you buy it from that link so that's it in this video i hope you find this video useful i will see you in the next one till then take care Oh, 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 oh,